my name is Debbie Nation. I'm a demonstration teacher for moderate to severe SDC at Bradley Elementary School. And today I'm going to show you how to do IEP progress monitoring using Google um, Doc Forms. So what I created over here was um, a folder that would say progress monitoring. When I click on that, I've created a folder for each student and in each folder, it would have a form for each goal. So I'm going to go ahead and click on goal number one for the student. And so I was able to title it goal number one. I put the IEP date on there. And then I created these questions um, wanting to know the date, the level of mastery, the prompt levels that we use for the child to complete the task. Um, anything that applies um, for data. So, um, you know, when I'm observing, there was a student and did he need physical help, verbal cues, gestural cues, or a visual cue? And then what activity did I use to um, get the data? So any assessment, observation, or work sample. And then I would put any notes on there. When I, after I, um, input the data, what's nice is over here on the right, you have the responses. So it, it shows you your input dates. It gives you a graph of what your level of mastery is. So this child right here, based on the goal, is a prompt level two. The type of prompting, you could see he needed more verbal cues zero visual cues, and the kind of activities that we did. So um, based on observation, this was also um, mom's input. We had work samples. So it just kind of lets you know what kind of data was taken. And then what I did was um, I would take notes. Now, right now with the virtual learning, I do call the parents. So, um, you know, in talking to the parents based on the goal, I would put per mom, um, she says he's getting better at this goal. Per mom, he's doing good. When it comes to IEP time, I can easily uh, click on this right spreadsheet right here where it's going to create a new spreadsheet. And it timestamps everything, all of my data input. It records the dates, all the dates that I inputted. And what's nice is now when I want to do um, to check if the child has met this at a certain prompt level, four out of five trials, I would just look at the most recent dates. And these are my five trials right here. And that could tell me um, what level the, the child is working at. So this is how um, this was an easier form for me, like I said, to um, to monitor all the IEP goals. If you do have any questions, please feel free to email me. Um, I could even send you this form.